Charlie Kirk, fresh off of his blockbuster report on Martin Luther King uh, Jr., where he, where all of a sudden, you know, with Charlie Kirk years ago when he was fighting off the Groypers, I was like, Martin Luther King is not horrible, and now he, now he is. But uh, oh, we discovered that yeah. he was kind of like anti-capitalist and anti-war and pro-worker. Sure, yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Cool. Um, just a warning. This is some rancid crap. Uh, this is uh, this is Charlie Kirk show, but this is their thought crime show, which he does with Jack Posobiec and two other. Uh, oh yeah, now Posobiec's the guy who got caught on Bumble cheating on his uh, pregnant wife, right? Or he got he caught somebody impersonating him on his account on Bumble, making it look like he was trying to have affairs. And he talked to the FBI and about may- it, and they said they were going to investigate it. And assume yeah. that investigation is going to conclude. Oh, any, I any wish day. I, f- I found out the results of that before I went on Bumble back in the day, because a lot of people did that to me too. Yeah, hey, he's just scrolling. You're the, I mean, prosecuting that is like prosecuting a thought crime. Yeah, a lot of that happened to me many, many times. Actually, yeah, no, that is very common where people hack into your Bumble account because they know who you are and they want to embarrass you in front of your pregnant wife. He's just scrolling. What is this, 1984? Policing my thoughts? And this is a compilation made by the Tennessee Holler. Ah. She's a narcissist. I don't think that she's very talented. (laughs) She's nasty. She's ugly. Nobody likes her. Nobody likes her. She's like a teenage boy. Like, dudes don't like her. Like, if you put her in front of, like, she's ugly. That's true. Yeah, yeah. does Taylor Swift have any eggs left? Well, I don't think she probably, probably. I don't know if she had it to start with. Like, no, the, you mean like bitter, bitter, angry women, and that—that's like, Taylor Swift, like He's librarian, like, oh, like your worst teacher you had, feminism. That's like that's Taylor Swift feminism. What is virtuous about her for young women to glean? Like date as many men as possible, complain all the time, ruin men's lives. She's not, she hasn't started a family. She's yeah, in I mean, her mid thirties. No kids. Like it's a she terrible role model. Or- three up. If you, young women start dressing sluttier because of Taylor Swift, which oh makes them like, miserable. Like when women dress like this, I, I don't, I don't know if a hundred percent. Dress I'm like you, what? Yeah, it's a cult. That's what it is. There's it's no men that really enjoy Taylor Swift. They just don't. There's no Swift redemption. Concert. She's a bad role model. She's not a good There's person. Plenty of She's women a bad icon. Let's also remind you, her politics exactly. are cancerous. Her politics are poison. She doesn't do the stuff that a political true believer yeah, but would she really just do. Did something. She got she is... four million girls registered in like 24 hours. Yeah, Do you see that? She but it's... broke the website. I want to make it clear, pause it one second. She's both that. got cancerous politics and doesn't really believe any of it. <laughs> that's, I mean, a, that's when you're giving out cancer, but it's not like genuine cancer. They, these misogynists are ruining the leftist cr- critique of Taylor Swift. I mean, the important <laughs> stuff here that I like to engage in about how she personifies white feminism and capitalism yeah, annoyed and we have commodification. To to this is of like, her image for a completely toothless faux feminist ideology that's really just about marketing herself, and these idiots have to ruin it. <laughs> these guys, honestly, it's like this is just uh, this is almost like a like 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 could be registered as a fetish also what they're doing here this is like because even from a political perspective uh, maybe they're afraid that there are some like uh women uh, you know conservative women who will listen to uh taylor swift but no, they cons- all no, do. No, but, all yeah, but, the white women they want to date freaking love Taylor Swift. Yeah. That's the problem. But but they're not. Their audience is. There's no women watching this. Yeah, this is all true. just like guys. This is all. Basically but that's the problem. Is just this is them telling their their younger listeners like, hey guys, when you run into this, which you will, just understand she's a bitch and you're okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. That's no. Basically, what's this going is on. this is content for um, older men whose daughters like they want to vote Republican. Him, but they're Taylor Swift fans and they're worried they're going to vote um, uh, Democrat or guys who want to date those women who are conservative exactly. themselves. Well, What's so her, funny is like, can you imagine her fan base was more conservative? That's what I think is threatening that's about the, it. That's why she's different. Yes. And, but dad, you know, like, uh, you know, t- saying to his, his daughter, like, just want you to know that Taylor Swift, she's a bitch. She's, yeah, right. She doesn't right. know all the things she she's know what she's in. talking about. She's all she does is complain. She's she barren. She doesn't have any kids. Darling. Her eggs yet. aren't good. Are you aware of that? Do you <laughs> she doesn't know she's being <laughs> utilized by the deep <laughs> daughter but also her politics <laughs> like, are actively bad yeah and that's and then like daughter sitting there going like i hope this is the last time i ever have to sit with look this at man. these alpha males yeah, she just know. there you have the biggest hey i would respect her but she, so she's not leading people to god she's leading them to wokeism complaining on boyfriends man hating and she used to be a christian Daisy says i don't think oh, taylor is a funny. christian anymore 
She grew up on a Christmas tea farm, tree farm. Yeah, I rest my case. Someone who like turns away from the faith and like <laughs> pursues money, fame, and approval of the world. Pause it for one second. <laughs> Christmas tree farms oh, where on, you on, get on, closer wait, to God. No, 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 no. Keep the his image up there because I just I can't believe I, what I just heard. <laughs> First off, she turned away the from the Christmas tree faith. <laughs> Jesus was born on a Christmas tree farm. I love the pine Jesus scent was too, a Christmas man, but... tree, apparently. Because um, nobody except for a devout Christian sell Christmas trees. Uh, I guess. Uh, but um, this guy's complaining about somebody doing what to pursue fame and wealth. This is the thirstiest M ever. I mean, the way that he went and just built himself a money-making machine, which basically was just pulling it out of like, what was it? Uh, was it uh, who was that guy that died that he used to get all his money from? And then he oh, the guy who died of COVID. Yeah. yeah. Uh, look his uh, I mean, the uh, Charlie Kirk is uh, is a if I would say entrepreneur first, and then everything else tied for last, and he's complaining that Taylor Swift is moved away from her origins on a tree farm to actually making money as a musician. That was Fascinating. A Bill, the, Bill Montgomery, the, uh, who started the pro-Trump student group along with Charlie Kirk, died of coronavirus-related complications. I mean, Charlie Kirk uh, is a theoretically a grown man uh, going around and visiting colleges. Hmm. Who, and, not, and organizing his fellow students, more or less. Yeah. Or trying. Is there I, any more to this? Uh, there might be. I just I'll say, like, here. I don't know how. Uh, I don't have the uh, antipathy towards Taylor Swift that Emma has. I don't know how bitter she is, but I will say, like, these guys talking about other people being bitter. Oh my what? god! Oh. I, I honestly don't think I've ever heard a single thing that Taylor Swift has said. I'm sure I've heard her music at one point. Like, Milo must have been into it, but um, these guys are just talking about themselves. Fucking it, eternity, Taylor. It, Oh, no, that was no, it. That was okay. it. No. Yeah, no, I just, uh, like, my, my critique of her is more she, like, epitomizes, like, white woman grievance a little bit, and I didn't love uh, some of the racial undertones of the Kanye oh. thing back in the day, or did how she, she did. Did Kanye? No, whatever. I, this is just, like... I don't know any of this. What I talk... Yeah, it's it's just, you know, it's it's the personification of white feminism. It's boring, but that's... Uh, that's my that's my larger critique. I don't think they're engaging in that. 